Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to do install Windows Vista in 2020 on VirtualBox. So the la I, I actually tried recording it, and some of you might have seen it, but that recording ended up turning to be bust because it was exported in the wrong color. So let's just start again. So I'm going to do Windows Vista. The problem with my last one was that it, it, it got corrupted and there were a lot of errors and stuff like that. This time there are going to be no errors. I practiced. So, um, yes, it's, it'll save 512 megabytes, it's been recommended, but unless you want a really bad experience, I'd turn it to 1024. And, of course, it's gonna save the hard drive space. Um, I'm gonna do this a little bigger. Um, like, 30 gigs. Whatever. I'm gonna do this much because, um, I'm planning to do some things with my machine, so... We're gonna go into settings and we're gonna go to system. Um, actually, no, display. And then crank this up to 128 megabytes um, of video memory. You need that. Actually, turn it to 3D acceleration and then crank this up to full in case you want to do VirtualBox VM additions. And then go to the disk and then load the file. So, this is the RTM release of Windows Vista, which I'm actually planning to upgrade soon. So, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to mount my. Dr um, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount my downloads folder so that um, so so that I can uh, install SP1 as soon as I get to the system, and we're gonna start it. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So now, of course, our machine is starting, and it's going to load this thing, and it's gonna be start gonna start to load files now. In case you were wondering, right now it's running off as SATA um, the controller. So um, if you need to change it, then um, it, then definitely do because um, uh, because it might be a little difficult for people who are not that nerdy to do it later. Anyways, so we're gonna wait for, for the files to load. Okay, it's starting. This is the first time Windows Vista did a graphical installation and not the regular installation they did. The blue screen one. Uh, wow, that sounds so weird. And um, yeah, so, okay, the computer is starting right now. And um, the virtual machine, I mean. And let's see. So it's going to ask you what what you want to do so um let's see if they have canada in this list because i am from canada um keyboard input method us next and then install now and if you already have an installation we're very confused now, as, as you can see the timestamp is 2006 which means it's the rtm release so um expect it to be weird anyways so now we're gonna wait for it to start and it's gonna start asking for our product key, but it says automatically activate Windows when I'm online. So we're actually gonna do that. And then you have to click no here because um, you don't want to enter the product key right now. And then um, what you're gonna do is you're, um, you're gonna select what you need and accept the license terms, custom. And then you want to select the disk you have right now. And then it'll say, that's all you need. And we'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so I'll meet you guys back when it's done. And I'm ver very sure this will work. Okay, now guys, Windows Vista is preparing to boot for the first time. And we're going to wait until it gets there. And then I'll start recording again. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be um, going to show you what you're going to do next. So you're going to type your username, I mean if it wants to type, and we're going to skip the password because I'm the most insecure guy in the whole wide world. We're going to skip this, use recommended settings, whatever. Um, why does it always do this? Like, it knows where I am, and it gets the time. Oh, it gets the time, right. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to click public location, and now it's done. So, we're going to start Windows. Oh 
Okay, so now we're gonna wait for it to start. Um, and as you can see, the hard drive is pretty hard at progress. And right now, it would be a good time to remove the disk. I mean, it's removing pretty easy. And let's see what happens. So we'll come right back when it boots the new desktop, okay? Okay guys, so um, now um, Windows is just going to do this and then we'll be right back when it sets up. Okay guys, so now it's um, currently booting right now and um, now we're actually logging in the first time so um yeah i'm pretty excited to see it but it's gonna take a while to set up so i will um um i'll only show you guys when the desktop is there um but i guess this is really it for the video so i mean if you like the video um remember to comment like share and subscribe and then i'll see you all guys next time with another video hint it's gonna be a new itunes retrospective